Okay, so we're going to start with a, a fresh scene, and I think we're just going to delete everything. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is come up to the Edit menu, and we're going to look at our preferences. And what we want is this Add Curve Extra Objects. Just going to check that. And now we're going to do a Shift A, and I'm going to look at Empties, or Empty and I'm going to click on plain axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press G and I'm going to move this over there. And I'm going to do a shift D to duplicate it and have another one say, say over here. Now with both of my empties or my plain axes uh, selected, I'm now going to do another shift A and I'm going to go back up to the curve menu. And now we're going to get our extended object, which is in knots and it's called catenary. And Catenary does a, a nice job of creating a, a hanging cable between our two points. Let's do something more interesting now. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, with my curve selected, I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert my curve to a mesh. And then I'm going to press tab to go into sub object mode. I'm going to select the, at least try to select the the ends of my uh, of my cable like that and now I'm going to go over to the data tab and in vertex groups I'm going to press the plus to create a vertex group and I'm just going to click on this and we call the group cable like that and then I'm going to assign or I'm going to press the assign button which is going to assign our selected vertices to that group now I'm going to press tab, so I'm in object mode, and I'm going to come across to physics. And this is going to be a cloth simulation. So I'm going to press the cloth button, and I'm going to immediately scroll down to the shape rollout. And in the pin group, we're going to select a group cable like that. Now, if I just press space, my cable is now uh, a cloth simulation. And we can... If I go into sub-object mode, I can, if I just select my pinned vertice like that, I can sort of like move that vertice, say, over here, and I go back to object mode, and I press space again, and now my cable is recalculated. Um, just stop the simulation there. Now, what we could do at this point is we could go into the modifier tab, that little spanner, and we could say, add from generate, uh, say, a skin, and it'll turn our cable into a piece of geometry. Uh, uh, you know, we could put smooth shading on it. Uh, but let's, uh, the problem that we have here is if we want our cable to compl uh, to collide, uh, it's not going to work. So if I just undo the addition of that modifier, um, I'm gonna add, uh, by pressing shift a say a mesh plane which is going to be our floor uh, I'm just going to scale up this floor a little bit uh, in fact let's select our curve and I'm just going to drop the curve down so it's it's clearly going to hit the floor uh, if I press tab to go into sub object mode and I select a vert there uh, I'm going to turn on proportional editing. So either you come up to the top of the central part of the screen and press the the proportional editing button, or you can use a keyboard shortcut O. Uh, now, if I press G and drag upwards my cable, and I can scroll down on the the mouse and increase the size of the proportional editing. So what we're trying to do is just get all the verts of the cable above the floor like that, and. I can press tab. Now we need to add physics to the floor. Uh, so we've got the physics tab and just add collision like that. Now our, ca our cable will not collide with the floor because it's only verts and edges. In order for the cloth simulation to work, our cable actually needs faces in it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna press tab and press two on the keyboard and then A to select all my edges. I'm just gonna press E and I'm gonna drag out 
the cable so it's now a strip of polygons so I press tab again now now for press space hopefully my cable is going to collide with the floor um, now I'm going to add another modifier onto this which is going to be uh, a solidify and we can see if we add a little bit of depth or thickness to our cable here in the rollout uh, and then we can I can right click in the viewport and just shade smooth uh, we can now press space and our cable will drop onto the floor and you may find at this point that the cable might intersect with the floor at which point you can sort of adjust the offset here to make sure that it's not uh, cutting or intersecting uh, into that floor but in this case it seems to be working okay